Hey guys, it's Miss Lopez, and during our last lesson, we learned about two and three dimensional figures. We learned what they were, we learned how to identify them, and today we are going to learn how to identify the faces, the edges, the vertices, and the bases of three dimensional figures. So the teak that we're going to be using today is teak 3.6a. It reads, classify and sort two and three dimensional figures, including cones, cylinders, spheres, triangles, and rectangular prisms and cubes based on attributes using formal geometric language. So we are going to be learning how to identify the face, the edge, the vertex, and the base of a figure. Now, the face is any flat surface on a solid figure. So let's say, I have some examples here. Let's say you have this right here. This is a square. So you're gonna count how many faces the square has. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and six, the bottom one. So how many faces does it have? The square has six faces. It's any flat surface, any flat surface that the solid has, that the figure has. After we identify the face, now we're going to identify the edges. Now the edges is any edge where two faces meet. So this is two faces. That means this is the edge. This is the edge. This is the edge. This is the edge. All these edges, those are what you're gonna count. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four. You're gonna go sideways, five, six, seven, eight, and then at the bottom, nine, 10, 11, 12. So how many edges you got? You got 12 edges. Now, once we finish with the edge, now we're gonna go with the vertex. Now the vertex is the corner in which three or more edges meet. The, cor the corners would be this one right here. You see, it has three edges meet, one, two, and three. So that is one vertex. This is another one. One, two, three edges meet. So we're gonna count the vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You gotta count the bottom ones too. So if you flip it, it's gonna have the same amount of edges. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you got eight vertices. So now we know that a square has six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. Now let's see, let's try it with another figure. Now the cone and the cylinder, they have a different one. They have an additional one that is called a base. So the base of a solid figure is a flat surface. So what, how many flat surfaces does a cone have? So it has one, this is all flat, and two. So it has two flat surfaces. Now how many flat surfaces does a cylinder have? It has one, two, and three. So that's how you tell the base of a solid figure. Now, using this worksheet that I have already handed out to you guys, we are going to count the faces, the vertices, and the edges of those particular shapes. Now, we have how many faces does the cube have? So, which ones did we say were the faces? This is the face. This is a face, the one behind it's a face, the other one is a face, and this is a face. 
So we're gonna count those spaces, right? So we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we got six spaces. Now, how many vertices do we have? Which one did I say were the vertices? The corners, good job. So the corners are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight vertices. How many edges do we have? Oh, well, that's easy. The edges are, let's just call them the long ones. So the long ones, let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Good job, guys. 12 edges. Hope you guys are following along. Now we can also do this using our figure, which you guys should have on your desks. So I, uh, you should have a cube, a rectangular pyramid, and a triangle prism right here, just like that. You guys should all have one. Now we're gonna do the rectangular pyramid using the rectangular pyramid. Let's take this out. So we're gonna go, all right, faces. How many faces do we have? So let's count all together. One, two, three, four, and five. So we have five faces. Now, if you wanted to do this in the paper, you could do the faces. We could do one, two, three, four, and then the bottom one, five. So that's how you get five faces. The faces should be a little bit easier for you guys to tell on the actual solid figure than on the paper. Now the vertices and the edges should be easy. So how many vertices do we have? Which ones were the vertices? The corners. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and five. Five vertices. Now how many edges do we got? That's easy, we already did it. Let's do it one more time. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight edges. Good job. Now we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do this one, All right? So we have, let's do it with this first. Let's do it with the solid first. Now let's count how many faces we got. So we got one, two, three, four, and if you turn it, five. So we got five faces. How many vertices do we got? So we got, let's count, what were the vertices? The corners. We got one, two, three, four, five, and six. We got six vertices. Now let's count the edges. Edges, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job, we got nine edges. All right, now we're gonna do this last three. Let's read what the 10 says. It says, which shape has more faces? So you have a sphere, you should have it on your desk and we have a rectangular prism. So which one has more faces? So we know that this one doesn't have faces. This one only has a base, which is the flat surface, but it doesn't have a face. So we know that a sphere has zero faces. Let's put a zero in, the, in that corner. Now, how many faces does the rectangular prism have? Okay, so we know we can count that. So we go one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this one 
has how many faces? Six faces. So that means which shape has more faces? The rectangular prism. Good job. All right. So this right here is your independent work. So we're going to be doing this independently. You guys know how to work independently, right? Good. So you are going to have your shapes, your two-dimensional ones. You're going to have your three-dimensional shapes. And you're going to match them to the objects that you have down here. So for example, if you have a ball, which one is a ball? A circle? No. Is it a cube? No. Is it a cone? No. It's a sphere. So you can use the, the manipulatives that I gave you. You can use the um, geometric figures that I gave you. And you're gonna like, okay, well, which one looks like a ball? This one looks like a ball. And this is a sphere. So you're going to go and you're going to see, okay, the ball is a sphere. So you're going to put the letter on the square. So that's how you guys are going to do it. You will be able to use, you can use your geometric solids to work on it. And we'll see how it goes. Quietly, we're going to work on this.